Today we're going to make some schiacciata and we are getting a few of the herbs already. We have some parsley and basil and look at here. These are all little teeny parsley plants that I'm going to have to move around or give away. What's so fun about uh, rucola, your rucola, is you can cut it at the base and these I just cut the other day right here and they grow back. So we're going to place that on top of our schiacciata as well little bit of this lemon thyme to put on the one where we will have some mushrooms on and now we will get a few sprigs of rosemary rosmarino and that goes very very well with the potatoes now that we've gathered our ingredients from the garden I'm gonna tell you what schiacciata is and here is the dough that we made two days ago it's been in the refrigerator and it is a typical dough and bread that we use in Tuscany. Normally, schiacciata is just drizzled with some olive oil and sprinkled with salt, but today we're gonna to put some potatoes, which I've parboiled, some little cherry tomatoes. Here we have some porcini mushrooms, which are typical from our area. And I'm gonna tell you just a little bit about them. In Tuscany, in the Mugello, this is a prized mushroom that you go and pick early in the morning and we have all kinds of chestnut orchards around and they grow right in the woods there but since I can't find them here we were able to find them on uh, online from a company called Urbany Truffles and they are actually they come frozen and they are actually very delicious so we're going to slice them up since one of them is going to be with uh, mushrooms as you can see, they're kind of wet because they were frozen, but they look absolutely beautiful. So our friend Lorenzo Boni introduced us to this company, and here they sent us a few samples of mushrooms, and these are porcini mixed with truffles, and we're gonna put these to good use. So we parboiled these potatoes maybe for five minutes in some boiling water. We're gonna slice them and these will as well go on top of the schiacciata. To these we will add some uh, rosmarino, some rosemary. And rosemary and potatoes goes really well together. We'll sprinkle it with some coarse sea salt and some cayenne pepper flakes. With the mushrooms, parsley, prezzemolo will go perfectly. I'm gonna get my larger knife, I believe, to chop this up, but let's see. No, it works great. This is the knife that my son forged. Look how beautiful it is with this olive wood handle. All right, the parsley will go right in here. We'll set that aside until we need it. And then we're gonna cut up an onion. Now here we're gonna slice some of this onion. Like I said, this one will go great with the potatoes. Now we're gonna pour the olive oil and garlic right over the potatoes. Give it a quick toss. And so they get nice and flavored. And then we'll sprinkle the rosemary right on top once it's on the focaccia or the schiacciata. Sara already lit the fire in the oven and we have a nice Gentle fire going on the side. Now let's check and see what the temperature of the oven floor is. It's about 620 degrees, a bit too hot. But first we're gonna need to make sure that the oven floor is nice and clean. And with this brush, you can make sure that there are no little bits of bark or, or other things in there. So now we're ready. Now since the dough is a bit wet, we're going to dust our peel with a little bit of flour and also some cornmeal because we do not want it to stick. So here is our first piece of dough. And what we're going to do is we're going to gently stretch it. So you just put your fingers underneath and as the dough relaxes, you can stretch it a bit further. Make sure that you don't stretch it too, too far because you still want some thickness to it. 
but you see how the dough has slowly relaxed and it allows me, especially the edge here, to bring it out just a bit further. Now here are the potatoes. We're just generously going to put them right on top of this gachata. We're going to use some coarse sea salt too. Now you could totally put some black pepper on there if you'd like. We're going to put a little bit of cayenne pepper on. There, we're on the edges right here. Some of these onions. And if you don't like onions, you can totally omit this. Some of this chopped up rosemary. There. Look at this already, looks amazing. And then the sea salt. And once we put the sea salt on, another nice drizzle, generous drizzle of olive oil. The olive oil is right here, and I almost forgot. We're gonna top it off with some cayenne pepper flakes. And the colors are amazing, and this is going to be so delicious. Let's take it out to the oven. Wow, look at this beautiful sketchata. I was checking to make sure that it wasn't sticking, and I think we're good. Let me see right there in the center. All right, we bring it back, and then slide it right in. There goes the door. Once in a while, you just open the door, peek inside, and see if it needs to be rotated. And it's looking mighty good. We're gonna peek and see as to what the bottom of the dough looks like, and it looks perfect. And let's check on top. Oh, wow. Our potato and onion scotchata with rosemary is ready to finally come out. And look at this. We're gonna sprinkle it with just a little bit of parsley. And then, right to it. Wow, listen to that crunch. Look at this nice slice with all these beautiful ingredients. Let's get to the next one. So the next one will be with the mushrooms. And I'm gonna try to make sure that it slides well and doesn't stick. I think we're gonna partially bake this one before we put that uh, mushroom cream on there. Just a quick drizzle of olive oil. And we'll already put a little bit of sea salt, coarse sea salt on. And this goes in the oven. We're gonna press Put the fingers right into it and that's why it's called schiacciata because it's been squished we just put it in and now we're going to close the schiacciata is partially cooked and we're gonna put all the goodies on so we're gonna put this cream on it and spread it evenly everywhere the aroma coming from this cream is so good you can definitely smell the truffle and then we're going to put the mushrooms on and now our cara porcini we're going to put these on a few sprigs of thyme we'll just lay them on like this Add some more here and a little bit of salt and a nice drizzle of olive oil This one is ready to go back in. How gorgeous this one is. We're gonna finish baking it, slide it right in there, and close the door. The truffle and porcini schiacciata is also coming out. It looks beautiful. And now we're going to put some parsley on it. Look at this. And on this one instead, we're just gonna press some of these tomatoes in. And just pour them right on top. Let's see if we can get some colored ones as well. Nice. A nice generous drizzle of olive oil. And even here some coarse sea salt. And these cherry tomatoes are gonna be so sweet. And on top of this, we will just rip some of these leaves of the basil and place them right on here. And then once it comes out of the oven, we'll add some fresh leaves. 
almost forgot to press my fingers into it to make it into a real schiacciata. Let's put this one in as well. And this will be our last one. This last schiacciata is coming out as well and look at it. It is going to be perfect with some fresh basilico on top. Let's bring it inside. On the potato schiacciata, we're gonna put some fresh rucola, arugula. And instead, on this tomato one, we're gonna put fresh basil leaves. Look at these colors. Now we can hardly wait to dig in. Let's start up with the potato and rucola one. Look at how gorgeous it is. Buon appetito!